Thank you, Chair Front. Um, I believe this question is for Mr. Carlson, but maybe Mr. Merriman can chime in. Um, while I see value in the amount of money that the governor wants to move into culvert replacement, I have some concerns about the mechanism, this 601 letter, by which he's trying to do this. And uh, my concerns are twofold. They're legal, and they're also constitutional. Um, legally, as your own talking points have mentioned, uh, there are parameters set on how funds are usually transferred using the 601 mechanism. Mm -hmm. And this, uh, not only the size of this transfer, but the mechanical focus of the transfer seems to not follow those ground rules that have traditionally been used for transferring funds. That's the legal piece. The constitutional piece is, and this perhaps gets to a little bit of what Senator King was just asking about, there are bigger questions here. Uh, what this effectively does is it allows the executive branch to re-budget the transportation budget that we put together during session. And it seems to me that the, the size and the broad scope of this uh, makes it problematic. Uh, how would you address my concerns? Uh, first of all, on the legal matter, um, there, there are several parameters that I went through, and all of those parameters will be fo uh, followed. Uh, yes, and, and uh, you know, you will see the the process in September when we get the letter of of those things. Your staff will have a chance to look at it. And uh, if they should see that we are going outside of those parameters, uh, they can raise that issue. And, and you all can raise that issue. As far as um, the constitutionality, um, it's the, uh, you know, I'm not an attorney, so I, I don't really want to totally weigh in on that. But this proviso, uh, uh, you know, it's the legislature's uh, responsibility in the Constitution to appropriate funds. But this, this uh, very distinctly, if you look on my first slide, uh, it says that it authorizes the transfer of appropriation authority under these circumstances to be done by OFM. Uh, if you can make it brief, that would be great. Very brief follow-up. Mm -hmm. Do you understand my point, though, that the size of this transfer uh, runs against that appropriating authority, which by intent was supposed to be, frankly, a small thing to transfer funds between specific projects not 175 million bucks. Yeah. I, no matter how much we agree that the amount is the right, to, uh, you know, the, the right amount needed yeah, for the project. Representative Walsh, that may be subject to interpretation about size, and we'll be glad to have that conversation on an ongoing basis with the rest, with you and the rest of the legislature. And I, and I do think that although the, the dollar number is large, uh, probably not the intent of the legislature when writing the proviso, but it is a very limited scope. It is for just fish barrier projects and fish barrier projects that were already on the project list. So, and so I do think it's somewhat limited.